On June 14, 2011, LWPI received the following email. I am sending you this email on behalf of my friend and neighbor. She moved into the haunted house seven years ago. Those of us that live in the area have heard the stories about it being haunted, but she moved here from Maine and didn't know the history of the house before she purchased it. She said that when she first moved in, she was terrified. She's heard voices, felt a presence, and heard footsteps. She has seen bunches of colorful lights, then after that, the house seemed to have settled down. But over the years, stuff has still been going on. At night, footsteps can be heard, things have gone flying off of shelves, the house will suddenly get cold and a presence can be felt, voices heard, etc. I'm sure there is more to it than that. Is there any way that you may be able to help her? Thank you, Tasha. So I called the homeowner the next day to discuss what was going on in her home. I was surprised to discover that this was a house, or rather a haunting, that I had read about before. It turns out that the house she was experiencing all this activity in has a long history of being haunted. She shared some of her personal experiences with me and admittedly I was more than a little excited about the prospect of investigating this house. Helen Crichton included the story of this renowned local haunting in her book Blue Nose Ghosts. The house is located on Georgefield Road between Kennet Cook and Shubenacadie. At one time, the home was owned by a family who experienced so much activity that they built other structures on the property in which to live in. They believed that the activity, which included slamming doors and things being thrown about, was caused by a deceased former owner who was buried nearby. The activity followed them to the other structures they had built, and at last they decided it was better to abandon the property than to live in constant fear. The current homeowner, who was not aware of the history of the house prior to moving in, soon noticed that things weren't quite right. She heard voices and footsteps and experienced overwhelming feelings of terror on several occasions. In 2010, she had decided that enough was enough and employed the services of a nationally renowned psychic medium who spent hours going through the house and around the property. He performed a smudging ceremony similar to a house blessing or clearing and for a couple of months after that, things were quiet in the house. The peacefulness didn't last long though, and things soon kicked up again. According to the public archives, the land on which this house was built was granted to Mr. James W. King in 1873. The records show that the first five owners each had the house for 20 plus years. It wasn't until 1981 that the house started changing hands more frequently, but even then, ownership lasted an average of nine years. The current homeowner has lived in the home since 2003. On June 25, 2011, at 7 p.m., LWPI arrived on the scene to conduct a full investigation into the claims of paranormal activity in the home. After touring the house with the homeowner, we began the task of setting up our equipment in some of the more active areas of the house. We ran stationary cameras to the basement, the computer room, the master bedroom, and the guest room, also known as the yellow room. Steve and I took on the very agile task of gaining access to the attic, which had us climbing a six foot ladder onto the top of the shower enclosure, at which point we hoisted ourselves another three to four feet up into the attic through a cutout ceiling panel. By the time we safely gained access to the attic, I was really hoping we hadn't just risked a broken neck for nothing. Although it wasn't caught until audio review, as soon as Steve and I start our investigation in the attic, we began catching activity on our camera. Watch for the small mass of light that forms four beams back, then very quickly shoots to the back of the attic and flashes twice. How's that? Good. So you can see behind me? Yeah. <laughs> and see that old vent? There's something at the end of it. That's a window. Turn uh, down the volume downstairs a little bit, please.
I have a feeling like there's someone nearby Look at watching us. Do you get that feeling? Yeah, it feels like it's coming from behind though. Oh, really? Yeah. It feels like it's coming from behind me. It's just brick wall on the vent back there. No, it goes a little further. There's a, there's a, the old part of the roof is on the other side of that, that, uh, okay. that's the chimney. Either there was someone yelling outside or somebody just said something in the back. Do you hear that ticking every now and again? No. No? And now I'm hearing it. What? So now I'm hearing it. It's like a little tick. It's in this room. It's yeah. not outside, it's in this room. definitely come up. Up there. Is there a light or something up there? Yeah. A light Looks bulb? Looks like it. Is it a light bulb that I'm seeing? Yeah. yeah I think that's where the light bulb is. Yeah, it's I think a light bulb. It still must be glowing a little bit after being turned on. There's movement behind me. There could be mice up here too, though. Neither one of us heard the footsteps running across the attic, but they did get picked up in my audio. Make a noise. Can you keep going, sir? It's already on. I could see that from the green light, but thank you. Put it right here. Put it right here. Yeah. Now. Whoa, just, oh, it's the walkie-talkie. Yeah, push the button on the walkie-talkie. Yep. Okay. Yeah. 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 Since our stationary cameras do not have audio lines running to them, Nikki, Matt, and myself, who are watching the stationary cameras from home base, had no idea that Lindsay had just described a ringing in her ears. I later shared this same experience while investigating the guest bedroom. So I'm starting to doubt that you're here. We've heard all these stories. I've experienced things before, so I'm not easily amused. You need to prove to me that you're actually here. Although she probably didn't realize it at the time, this may have been an open invitation for the personal experience that she had later on in the guest bedroom. Matt, pick up a little bit. Yeah, uh, EMF. Can you guys see the EMF? Even as we're setting up in the guest bedroom, we're already starting to capture activity. Yep. Sounds good. Okay, go ahead. If there's anybody in here that would like to make contact with us, you can speak to us. You can step towards the green light and touch it with your hand. Make a knocking sound. Anything of the sort. Please feel free to move up to the lights. They will not hurt you. 
My ears are ringing in here. I'm not sure if that was just something settling behind me. Oh, I thought you moved. No, I wasn't moving at the time. But I heard it come from these two uh, picture frames behind me. Sir, ma'am, if that was you, could you please try to do that again? Just a tick over here. Just a tick in that corner. Yeah. I mean, you know her. There's three of us in the room. My name is Matthew. I'm Nikki. And I'm Kimberly. What is your name? I can hear talking. I'm not feeling good in this room. I, I'm My really, stomach's sore. I, 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 I don't, can't ex describe it. Well, let you us know if you want or to leave. Were you in this room? Were you harmed in this room? Oh, there was just a flash of light right behind you, Matt. Whoa. Oh, I'm not feeling good. I get... Here's that video footage slowed down. I have total body pins and needles right now. Me too. Nikki, if you want to leave, let us know. And we'll switch <clears throat> out. My I, I just have totally... my whole body just feels really, really heavy. And... It was, it's even more intense, like very, very intense, more so than anything in the cave. Do I make you nervous? Something just touched the back of my leg. I am not here to hurt you, nor is anybody else in this room. We are definitely not here to hurt you. We are here to communicate with you and help you if you would like it. Could you please make a knocking sound in the room for us? Matt, could you give an example? Can you replicate just three simple knocks? Anything of that sort. Whatever was here is definitely not around me anymore. I feel that is a feather. I do not. And the back of my shoulder is cold. I feel like there's somebody right near me. Like pressing up against the right side of me. I'm not here to hurt you. I think there might have been a flash of light just then behind Nikki on the curtains, but it might. I'm not well, sure it's not if I. Pointing towards the road. No, no, I'm not a pinpoint behind. of light. That was me breathing. Oh, I feel. Like Did you just hear that? No. Did you just hear that? I heard a woman's voice. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna move back over here now. It's obvious that you don't want me there. I'm sorry. I'm suggesting a spirit circle up here, Kim. And um, someone bring up the tripod. Because you know what? I'm getting swaying right here in this corner. Okay, so why don't we just stop it right here and call down. Okay. Just after I finally speak up about the swaying feeling I was getting in the back corner, this EVP was caught in our audio. And um, 
someone bring up the tripod? Because you know what? I'm getting swaying right here in this corner. Okay, so why don't we just stop it right here and call now. We need more people. Could you guys come up, um, Steve, Lindsay, Megan, and bring the tripod with you? We're going to do a <coughs> spirit circle up here. We've got a lot of activity going on it's in this room. There. It is. Karen, can you um, I don't have Nikki move away? We can't see the K2. Yeah, move away. There we go. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Matt, when you, um, you and Nikki first ta started talking, there was a flash on the wall right beside you, and I caught it on camera. Well, as soon as you said a flash, my whole head just had the it, entire pins and needles in. I feel very heavy over there. I don't feel... I don't it, like it over there. Uh, me neither. And I, I I, feel better over here. Mm -hmm. I still feel heavy, but over there was something Kim, else. Yes. Do you want me to take the camera and you step over there? Sure. You seem to be very tuned. I, that was my knee. Sure. Because I just didn't want to stop pushing yep. record. I was yep, afraid I something it. might happen. Oh, dear God. It's pitch black. <laughs> Weird. Oh, there's. I don't know if you're reflecting or there's something this might be flashing. Yeah, that's been flashing. No, it was flat. It was above you. Oh, following. Above me? Yeah. It Here's that clip slowed down. Reflecting, or there's something this might falling. Be flashing. Yeah, that's been flashing. No, it was flat. It was above you, oh, following. Above me? Yeah, it was following you, oh. and now it's not there. You can come close to me. I'm comfortable with with them. Yeah, you know what it feels like. What? It feels like. Oh, there is an orb that just. Yeah, you're being surrounded by two orbs. It feels like there's a magnet yep. on either side of me. There's a magnetic pull right here. Mm -hmm. And there was just a noise right over here to my... There's a magnetic pull right here. And there was just a noise right over here to my... There's a magnetic pull right here. And there was just a noise right over here to my... There's a magnetic pull right here. And there was just a noise right over here to my... Much, what are you feeling right in that getting, corner? Oh, something's touching right there. Okay. Who's in here now? Uh, all of us. Steve? I'm here. He's in the doorway. Did you want Steve's to take over? Listen to the breathy EVP we caught in our audio after I ask who's in here now. Steve? I'm here. He's in the door. 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 With the camera, Steve? It's up to you if you want to, or, or I can, I can hold it. It's not a problem. And brought up a tripod. We had a light right behind that, and then right as, as soon as I told him there was a like just as I was saying there's a flash, he grabbed the top of his head because he was feeling something. Oh my god, I felt ill. Yeah, and that we saw that. What was going on beyond that? I felt someone was pressing up against me in the corner there. And two orbs move at ceiling level away from the corner of the room. And Nikki was not feeling good. In fact, I even asked her, did you want to go out and switch out with somebody else? Because she was like, I, I feel sick and I don't feel good right here. I yeah, I don't like where you're standing. Yeah. I almost smell something burning. Who, me? I do. No, but where, who's standing? Me. Where I'm standing. I don't like where you're standing, Kim. I just like, I don't like being over there. No. Yeah. I can feel something. As Steve prepares to mount the camera to the tripod, it continues to record. Although the camera motion may make you a little nauseous, I've included it to show that the two male voices I picked up on my audio recorder were neither one of them. First, I'll play the footage from the camera, then the audio from the recorder sitting on the table.
Because I kept hearing change, change. Like someone was playing a pocket change on the pocket. I took it out with one hand. Playing a pocket change on the pocket. I took it out with one hand. Is anyone else's ears ringing? Yeah. yeah. My ears are ringing in this room. Mm. Like they do after a rock concert. Yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. why she's exactly. That's, that's said. word for word what she said in oh, really? the master yeah. bedroom. We're holding hands to create energy that you can use to help manifest yourself or to do something. So please feel free to use our energy. Do you hear that? I saw a flash here. I, I thought maybe it was that going on. I thought I heard like a growling or like a behind that. Was that your stomach? No. Did you hear that? No. It almost sounded like a little tap 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 tap. And we kept hearing tapping in the master bedroom. And you kept on hearing tapping in the uh, yeah. attic. Yeah, I did. Did you just say something, Nikki? No. Is that your stomach? No. Did you way. hear it? Because I heard it. Maybe. I'm getting a tightening in my chest again. Are you? Mm hmm In my... Do you feel cold between us? No, I don't. I... We're going to introduce ourselves. I'm Kimberly. I'm Lindsay. I'm Megan. I'm Nikki. I'm Matthew. And I'm Steve back here in the corner. Don't be scared of this equipment. Now, I feel comfortable with you touching me, but please wait until someone says that they wouldn't mind you touching them before you touch. Not everybody is comfortable being touched. I'm comfortable being touched. I'm comfortable. You can touch me. I'm still quite not there yet. <laughs> And you can Did touch you, me, too. Did you just hear that before Steve started talking? No. There was a woman's voice. Sorry. I thought I saw the red light, the, the just camera flicker. flicker. Did you see that? Yeah. Like something crossed in front of it. Yeah, I was looking at the uh, K2 and I looked over at If that was you, could you walk in front of that... Could you walk by the back corner of the room again? By the door? There was just a flash of light right beside it. Did you see that? No, I was looking directly at the camera. I didn't see any flash though. It was to the left. Feel free to come closer. Oh, I'm just rubbed up against the back of my left leg. I'm still there. Did someone just do a big breath out? No. No. There's gas. There's something around my left leg. It's moving my jeans. I don't know why I just looked down like I could see your jeans move. I'm not moving my leg at all, but I can feel Did it. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. I heard a woman's voice. Okay, I get the idea that you want us to know that you're here. So if you want us to know that you're here, why don't you come near our K2 meter and light it up for us? It will not hurt you at all. I'm going to try something. I'm going to back out of this circle, join you guys, because that way it's all females in this. Okay. Okay. okay, now it's just us girls. So if you feel comfortable more comfortable with just women, please come forward. Is this hand getting cold? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just saying my face is getting tingly. My legs, my cat, my like my thighs are getting really mm -hmm. cold. Scratches from. Yeah. 
There's a cat up here. No. That's almost what it felt like when I said I had that part. I kind of felt, felt like that when I first walked into the yeah. room. Yeah. Can... Can you knock something on the ground? What? Can you knock something on the ground? No, I'm just looking at the markings on the floor. There's some strange ones. That's what I said earlier when we were setting up the camera. Oh, this is and Matt, around. And Matt said that it was I just... I forgot here is rather PG-13, so I'm not going to repeat it. Oh. Are you looking at my rear end? Lindsay must be bent over. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, make it sure I... It was yeah. PG. You were supposed to take your finger up. <laughs> They're all adults down there. So right. Kids are gone. Left right. hand up. I don't want my butt to see. Left hand up. Right hand down. All right. All right. I want to be able to still, still see the K2 here. For this to work on camera, uh, you're going to have to back up uh, yeah, but we're okay. No, the other way. <laughs> we're okay on our camera, though. Tell them not to worry about that camera. Kim says you're crazy. Don't worry no. about that camera. <laughs> I did not say that. Not wrong. <laughs> we have the other one on us, so we're going to stay where we are. Okay, hold our radio silent. Is everybody's ear still ringing? Yeah. Might have been ringing the entire time we've been in here. Like, even when I'm talking, I can hear the There's ringing. like a slight pressure in my ears, but mm -hmm. it's not ringing. It's ringing like I just got home, like we said earlier, from a rock concert, and you hear that ringing as soon as you... Yeah. Oh, it's moving? cold all around my legs. But you moving this creaking? Yeah, because I'm okay. stabbing pain in my right leg. You okay? It hurts. Time to take it off. Take it off? Yeah. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Take it all off. Tell whoever's putting it on you to take it off. Please get off of my leg. That's me. Is it still there? Yeah. Up until this point in the evening, all of our personal experiences had been relatively tame. However, just after this, things got a whole lot more disturbing, and Lindsay, Steve, Nikki, and Matt all ended up leaving the room. Mm -hmm.